The former kings of the Bobos is uh, Roadhog. And a lot of people here have met uh, Roadhog over the years. I forget when he was elected. Uh, uh, 1992, I had that honor. Uh, the Hobos thought I would make a good, uh, a good ambassador and a good king. And uh, I'd heard him complaining about his health. And uh, of course, he didn't have health care. And uh, what happened here is that he was down in Miami. And uh, after he was elected king, I think it was 95, and uh, they got picked up, he and his partner, and they were sitting in jail for some petty little fine. And his compatriot <coughs> uh, said, you know, I'm getting kind of tired of this kind of scene. And uh, you were telling me, Roadhog, you had some problems. He said, here's some advice. Next time, commit a federal crime because health care is better in the federal facilities. <laughs> so Roadhog thought about that for a day or two, and by golly, you see where I'm going. <laughs> by golly, uh, he got his laundry bag, and uh, he wrote out this note. This is a robbery. I have explosives here. And Please give me your money. And then he drew a smiley face and said, thank you. So he went into this bank and by golly, that's exactly what happened. And the teller, of course, pressed the silent alarm and gave him all the money. He strolled out the bank and there was a taxi cab outside. He jumped in, got clean away. <laughs> and he spent a couple days giving away $50 bills and then turned himself in. So I thought, what a neat story. Here's the story, put it in song. Roadhog's bag was a little rank When he entered that Miami bank He wasn't there to do his laundry His purpose was crystal clear Driven by a basic fear Something was wrong in his human frame He was willing to do prison time This was no nickel and dime It was real I'm liable to pull anything off, you know? And I happen to be down in Florida and what pushed my buttons is a I was homeless down in Key West, I was down there, with, and I was with a couple of uh, homeless people I was sleeping in the dugout of a ballpark, Key West. And here come a bunch of detectives in the morning along with the Key West cops, and they busted us for trespassing, you know, and I wound up in jail for 10 days. You know, and just like a common criminal, you know, you, you coveralls and this and that, and, and I says, you know, I says, it's about time for me to add a little bit of color to this. I says, I need medical care anyway, you know. And it wasn't about the money. It wasn't about the money, it was the recognition. Because money I can make, you know, but it's for the, rec for the general principle of the recognition. So I pulled a caper. I pulled a caper and I pulled a good one, you know. And I did give some money away. <laughs> it wasn't a whole lot. But I pulled a caper and then I did walk in and I took turned myself in, I says, I says, I'm the, I says, you know, I'm the guy that robbed the Liberty, I uh, mean, the uh, World Savings Bank the other day down in Liberty, Lincoln Mall. And I, and I says, I says, the reason I did it, because I thought of that old Technicolor. I said, I'm tired of being nobody like that. He says, you're somebody now. <laughs> Policeman. <laughs> and you might have heard him say, take them before they come. That's the ticket, Roadhog. Sure. It's a part of my life. I, I have a sense of humor about things. You know? And I'm just tired of being buzzed just for nothing. You know? And I said, how, how about a little technicolor? Something, something that made a little, a little spice in my life, you know? And then, I, of course, I was thinking about all those good meals coming up, too. I'm going to get a couple of years. I'm going to eat good. I'm not going to be homeless. The rent's paid. <laughs> you know? 
in the back of my mind. <laughs> And uh, I, did, I did a fairly easy time. I mean, it was, I called it Club Fed, you know? And I mean, I gained about 40 pounds in there. I had lasagna, I had steak and eggs, sometimes bacon and eggs. I don't want to elaborate too much on this, but I mean, and I got the medical care and mental health, uh, mental health, uh, they, but uh, I'm, I'm the same. Me and my Italian sense of humor. You know? It wasn't about the money either. I didn't care about the money. I just, I figured I got short change on that, uh, on that bus sleeping in the dugout. I wanted something better than that, you know. Got out on parole. He lives now in San Francisco. Makes a little money playing the mic, the uh, harmonica on the streets, and uh, he's in good shape. And I think, ladies and gentlemen. That if, say, 10,000 Americans would adopt Roadhog's plan to get health care, we might finally get a single payer system in this country <laughs> like every other civilized nation. Wow. That's the ticket, Roadhog. Short a mulligan stew. That's the ticket, Roadhog. Passed out General Grant stew. That's Ticket Roadhog. All the bums said thanks, cause he packed a grip, took a trip down to them banks. Hey, thanks.